from Indie Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Caitlin Kendall. Here's your latest news headlines. The Indianapolis City County Council could vote as early as October 7th on a new ordinance targeting street takeovers. The proposal brought by IMPD would penalize people taking part in street takeovers. It would allow police to impound vehicles for at least 30 days and promoters and spectators could be fined under that new plan. Cleanup is underway in Delaware County after a land spout tornado caused damage Sunday night. The National Weather Service says the land spout was on the ground for less than a minute. It's categorized as an EF0 tornado and had peak winds ranging from 60 to 65 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the National Weather Service in northern Indiana confirms two tornadoes touched down in Jay County on Sunday night. The first was an EF0 tornado that was on the ground for less than two minutes near the community of Blaine. A second tornado developed immediately after the first dissipated. It was on the ground for nearly three miles and caused this damage at the Jay County Junior Senior High School. Several homes and communities, uh, the community's American Legion building, were also damaged during that tornado. Officials say the storm had winds topping 110 miles per hour. Todd? All right, there's a marginal risk for some strong to severe storms here later on today, especially the further east you are across central Indiana. Most of us just deal with clouds and some periods of rain off and on throughout the day. But as we get into the afternoon hours, a little better chance of a few thunderstorms popping up. Wind would be the main threat if we did get a severe thunderstorm a warning. Uh, and then as we work our way into the overnight hours, uh, just a hit or miss shower. And Overall, tomorrow is going to be a mostly cloudy day for us. Temperatures today and tomorrow in the low to mid 70s. There could be a few spotty showers tomorrow, uh, but then Thursday is a dry day before us. And then as we work towards Friday, we'll have to keep an eye on Helene as it makes landfall. It could spread a lot of moisture in our direction and maybe some decent wind as well as we work our way into Friday and Saturday. So that forecast, Caitlin, as we work our way into Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday, going to be very changeable here. Here over the next couple days. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather that you need to know, make sure you download the WRTV mobile app. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have a good day.